history of steel pans in Belize dates back to the 1960s when Belize was still known as British Honduras. After returning from studies in the Caribbean, a young Dr. Lennox Pike and Dr. Colville Young, now Belize's Governor General, introduced the instrument to Belize. Dr. Pike eventually led Belize's first steel band, the All Stars. Today, Belizeans continue to enjoy the sweet melodies resonating from the clash of the steel pans and mallets, thanks to Belizean steel bands like the Pantemters, Panorifics, and Pandemonium. Each group has a unique beginning, and we learned how the Pandemonium steel band was birthed. Through the efforts of Restore Belize and Niche, we were supposed to teach um, steel plan classes to children in the Yabar era, which was the target era that we started to work with. Hence, in December 2013, free steel pan classes started. Basically, those free classes led to children from mainly neighborhoods that are highly impacted by crime, poor neighborhoods, poor infrastructure, and these children started to learn um, steel pan led by the person that was hired by Nietzsche, Mr. Alex Evans. And basically, by the time Paniad came around in, November of, in September of 2014, with a couple of, of veteran musicians, um, the Pandemonium Steel Band was born. Initially, the classes were open to all, but Bradley says they quickly noticed that they were not attracting their target population and change their recruitment strategy. So what we've started to do is to go to schools like Anglican Cathedral College, West we want to go to Excelsior, Bundesaraga High School and, and recruit children. And what we do is we have them fill out a registration form saying, why do you want to join the band? Why do you want to be a member of the band? And you know, children put things like, um, I like music, um, I, I play pan because if I stay home, I might get into trouble, I might be on the streets. And um, so that's basically the way we recruit. And the program provides, through, through the assistance from UNICEF, we, we, get, um, we pay transportation because some of these children, because of the neighborhoods they come from, you have to pass other gang areas to get home. So we provide the taxi so that the children can get home to this is like Jane Osha Boulevard, Faber's Road, Lake Independence area. We provide um, refreshments and food whenever they go to, to events that they're invited. Um, we also provide the uniforms for the children and we also pay teachers to, to um, teach the children. Like the Steel Pan, Pandemonium's musical director hails from Trinidad and Tobago, where the Steel Pan is the national instrument. Joseph Ward spoke to us about his role. We teach them the steel pan because the program focuses on beat a pan, not a man, that is the slogan, right? But we also do a lot of music literacy, like I've started teaching them to read music and so they could be musicians and form a future and a career based on music. Having taken on his new task just over six months ago, Ward told us what the experience has been like. I came here not knowing what to expect, but after meeting these kids and seeing how enthusiastic they are about learning music and performing on the steel pan, it has been a real joy for me to work with them. I have seen angry kids, depressed kids, negative attitudes, and I have seen them transform when they have started to learn a new piece of music. Like, all the anger is gone, you just see children, they, want, they get playful, they're happy, they're excited about what they are doing, so it has been a tremendous thing to see. The excitement is contagious, so as they get excited, I get excited as well, so it's like, yes, we're going out there and we're going to have fun, you know, just to build their morale and the way they view life, so it's really, really nice. Alison Marin is a parent to four band members enrolled in the program. She shared with us how they got involved and her thoughts about the program. 
I came the first time when they were just auditioning for the summer and from there they just hit the notes and they said well mom we like it and I just let them continue. They have been in here about four years and it's a good program for them. They learn self-control, how to manage their time well and how to beat steel pan. And I think it's a good program because um, the leaders are very positive and they help. They are like a mentor, a tutor, everything in one. As its history reveals, the steel pan was used as a form of cultural self-expression for those who face difficult social and economic conditions, similar to that of some of the young people in the Pandemonium Steel Band. Here's what they told us. I did at a band for three years and the experience to me good because it helped, helped keep me up at the street and things like that. I get to meet a lot of new people, a lot of fun people and have very fun experience in this band. I feel very good because not many people know music all that good, so I feel good that I have the talent and the skill to do it and learn it and know it very well. And behind every successful program, there are supportive partners, and the same is true for the Restore Belize Steel Pan program. The commitment of the parents has gone a long way because it really takes a lot of effort to get your children back and forth to practice. Like I said, the taxi made it easier. But in addition to that, I would say the caliber of music teacher is the caliber of teacher, is the commitment of the teachers that has really led to the good quality of music that comes out of the band members. And we have to see the, the commitment of UNICEF of steadily providing funds on an annual basis and the support I get as a program officer from my director. Of course, I have to mention Niche because they provided the initial teacher, Mr. Evans, and, and I say, like I said, they are, they are very supportive whenever we, we call on them. I believe this has all contributed to the success of the Pandemonium Steel Band. It's a, it's a real team effort. Since its inception in 2013, the program has impacted over 50 young men and women, continuing to champion its tagline, Beat a Pan, Not a Man. For Belize Now, I am Janelle Mencius.